Libra, how are you doing? Welcome into this reading. So the current path that you are on, and I mean the current path with regards to every choice you've made, okay? And every choice that you are currently making, where you are going, uh, what you're deciding to do, new directions that you are currently wanting to take, and even how you feel and think about the future, what are your goals and dreams, the path that you are on, where is this going to take you in your life, okay? So we are going to go in deep here for you to get these answers out and see what that is for you, okay? So let's start out, and do remember Libra, this is a timeless reading whenever you get this reading. Whenever that may be, you're meant to get the message at this time. If it is your first time here, thank you for being here. And if you're wondering, um, I hope this reading is for me. My spirit guides and your spirit guides usually work together. And if you've been sort of led to see this reading, it is because your spirit guides have guided you here. And, um, or you wouldn't be here. Okay, so I know there's a message in here for you. Okay, interesting. So we'll bow on the bottom of the card. So... <coughs> We've got clarity coming in here. We've got justice coming in here. That would be Libra's energy. And we've got happiness coming in here. Very good, interesting reading. So clarity coming in here is a very, very interesting card. It talks about seeing something or something being revealed or a way forward being open for you. Okay. And that's actually a very good energy. With the justice card coming in here, justice would be usually tied to Libra, even in an oracle deck. Um, it talks about the scales of balance being restored in your life. It talks about something going the way that you want it to go. It also talks about something ending, like a change that happens here that almost like, like ends your old way of life and brings in a new way of life. Justice is actually a major, major energy, okay? So ending here, we've got happiness. So something definitely is moving you into a form of happiness in your life here. We are going to get some tarot cards out. We're going to get some clarifiers out to clarify those tarot cards as well from another deck. Um, I want to understand for you exactly what is this clarity. Okay, I've got an Eight of Swords. I saw it, so I'm going to have to take that. When I see a card, I cannot deny. And Eight of Swords is... is <coughs> Something that's very blocked, um, something that's not moving, something that is stuck. It's not what you like. Um, there could be a way of life that you are living that you're feeling very, very restricted in some kind of way. Or you feel like you can't express yourself properly in your life because something is restricting you. Could be a person, could be a situation where you're not really able to live or move forward the way that you want to move forward. It's almost like in every direction that you move, there's a spike kind of spikes here, thorns, um, holding you in. Uh, this is a big energy. The Eight of Swords sometimes can be stuck with, uh, it can be stuck with you. Um, it can also be indication that you feel like you've got a life blockage in some kind of way or some area of your life is blocked, almost like a spiritual block. And you're like, this is blocked for me, I don't understand why. It can be stuff like success, finances, um, Health even sometimes can happen happen with that as well. Um, it can even be love, like relationships as well. Like this is just so stuck. You're going to have clarity on that. Okay. This is going to be quite a major event. If you've got clarity and you get justice coming in after it. I feel like whatever this is, there's clarity coming in. So there could be an event coming in there that's going to make you either understand something differently or see something differently and I feel like it's it's big okay I feel like it's big the hermit and the hierophant oh no it's big guys the hermit card showing up in the reverse position for you this is Virgo's energy you've got major arcanas coming up here this is about that blocked energy this is about something being stuck look at the card there's a spider in there protecting itself because that's what we need to understand about the spider. Trust me. I know a lot about spiders. Okay. The spider we're coming up here. The spider does two things. It's, it's trying to hunt. And it's trying to live. You know, survive. So it's hunting. So it builds this nest like this here. So hopefully something will come along into its trap and it can have dinner. You know what I mean? But also, it's not only doing that to hunt. It's also doing that to protect itself. 
because the majority of the time spiders can sit still like that for days on end they don't even move i i watch them sometimes and i'm like okay there's that spider sitting in the corner of my house there it hasn't moved for like three four days is it alive and i'll go there and be like i'll blow it and it'll run a little bit you must know if you come to my house you will see many spiders okay they're kind of like very free around the house so i just leave them alone um and they say scare me like dangerous spiders and i'm like no you know what i mean trust me that has happened okay and then i do freak out so with this energy um i feel like in the reverse position there's something that's going to be shown to you there's some kind of like event that takes place here or understanding that takes place here that's going to make you see something differently it's a deep understanding because the hermit card coming up here talks about coming out of hermit energy it talks about there could be a very isolated feeling that you're having as well here remember both these cards if you actually have a look at them there's something going on in the middle here and there's like there's these thorns coming in in this situation you're also trying to protect yourself you're also in the middle it's like very protective energy so it's almost like things have been going wrong here and you may feel like you need to protect yourself because things have been going wrong so you're very isolated as well you may be catching yourself off from people whatever this situation is it, it brings in the hierophant i mean the hierophant that is deep understanding and the, the hermit card as well also means to go within and get deep understanding this understanding shifts your energy you are now open here you are no longer in this self-imposed prison or maybe not even self-imposed life imposed, imposed prison on your life you are literally out you are literally sharing information you are literally with other people facing life growing changing with the hierophant that's taurus's energy so this card talks about wisdom it talks about what you have learned on your journey and it talks about leveling up major plot twists going on here there's a big plot twist coming in for you there's some kind of clarity showing up for you in your life and it's going to affect you in some really really big way and it's affecting your life in an area that has been very, very blocked for you. And there's a deep understanding coming in. I am so curious to see what's going on in your reading. I'm going to get some cards out for you here. Okay, first card fell out. We've got a Queen of Pentacles uh, clarifying the Eight of Swords energy. Nothing is stable in your life. So nothing is really feeling stable. Nothing makes you feel safe. You are feeling as if... You don't have stability in some area of your life here. You not so things don't last a long time. Meaning, if you have, it can be one thing. It can be all of these things. It can be one specific thing. But in in other words, if I say to you, you get a good job, okay, and within a couple of months the job is gone. That's this feeling of what is blocked, okay. You lose your job. Something happens. The company closes down. They retrench people. Whatever. Um, you meet somebody amazing and you feel like this is going to be a long-term relationship and then a couple of months down the, low, down the road this person is no longer stable with you the relationship ends you see what i'm saying some kind of area in your life that is meant to be stable is not right it can even be a home it can even be never finding a place to stay um it's like i keep on I have to move all the time i can't find one place to stay in and that's this energy that looks very blocked to me you see what aligns with the hermit the moon something's going to be shown to you if you're not aware of it yet uh this is a big you got major arcanas on major arcanas here so that's big energy the moon card again coming in here with this energy of the unseen spirituality and you've got now three cards kind of like talking about also spiritual or enlightenment energy because the moon sometimes the moon you know a moon is always associated i i'm up, i love the moons okay i've got a lot of moons on me so with the energy of the moon it talks about what you don't see in this moment it talks about seeing into the mystery it talks about something being revealed with the moon energy there's a big change big big shift coming in for you a major plot twist coming up for you here where i think you're going to have some very deep understanding about something that's going to happen here for you you don't yet see this because these are in the reverse position okay there's a shift coming in here with regards to your life you got a hierophant 
with a six of pentacles coming up here and there's first of all what is missing here the problem nine here with the eight of swords okay is the queen of pentacles so the queen of pentacles got to do with the stable things balance in life stability long term and this is where you're going to have understanding and this is the area of your life that's being affected that's why they're showing it in your reading six of pentacles oh it's a good card it talks about giving and receiving fairly it talks about getting what you're supposed to be getting it talks about balance coming in into your life if this is related to like people it talks about people doing the right thing towards you. She sees these two dogs outside. She's like, oh, let me give them the leftovers. That's the right thing to do. Let me give them a bone. You know, let them eat. And that's how life is going to be responding to you. It's going to be responding to you in a way of what, what is it that you deserve. Remember, a six of pentacles is also what you put in, you will get received back. So what you put in is like karma. What you put is like karma and the justice card is next. Um, what you put in is what you will get out. So there's a big change for you coming in here. I kind of feel like this could change a lot of things in your life. It could change maybe everything for you. Okay. I feel like it's such a big plot twist, such a big twist that's going to happen here in your life. Justice shows up meaning that as well. Because a justice card would mean some kind of big change that takes place, okay? Timing comes in here as well. You don't yet see this. Two of Swords, you will see it. King of Swords, and you're moving into your happiness. King of Cups energy. Let's get those clarifiers out as well. Beginning, Page of Swords, unbelievable. Six of Cups, Ace of Wands. Wow. No, this is a new beginning. You are being where you have not seen where you have felt as if you're living on your life on a knife's edge. You've got this pretty little frog is trying to balance there on the edge of a sword, okay? This sharp little sword. And he's like, I'm just going to hang on here anyway. I'm going to have to do what I need to do. The Two of Swords talks about fear. It talks about the needing to protect yourself. Remember, we did see that before in the Hermit card as well. It talks about, again, also having to go within and try to find answers to situations. Remember, the Hermit card also means to go within, okay? And I feel like it could either be something that really takes place in your life here. And the something that takes place is this event. It's what this card is about. This changes absolutely everything here. The Page of Swords is some kind of new beginning that's being offered to you. Look how this person comes in there. They're like, here. Yeah, has a new beginning. Yeah, has something that's starting. Yeah, has a new direction. Take the sword. Move on. When they offer the sword to you, or when the situation can, maybe this can be an offer of some kind. It can be a shift of some kind. It can be a new beginning of some kind. It can even be you yourself, okay, taking the sword and now knowing what to do moving forward, okay? It leads to the king of swords the same sword has that was being offered to you moves you into a place of understanding in your life moves you to a place of absolute clarity in some kind of way where you can see where you're going where you can see what your future looks like where you have leveled yourself up here to the king of swords which is a place where you are now dedicated to something and you know what it is, and you know what you're doing, and you have leveled your life up, okay? It makes everyone around you um, feel safe. It makes you feel safe. Remember, you have this little, even if you don't have children, you know, everyone around you can mean your family, Six of Cups, any of those that you need to take care of, you can see how to do that. If you have a family, and you don't like know how to take care of you or you're worried about the future of your family yeah you know you're like oh i can take care of my family all the way all right and it's almost like you're saying to yourself i will literally be able to take care of them and i know how that's going to work i know what i'm doing and if you don't have a family you just on you on your own you know and this is you. This is your own inner child. This is when you were a kid, you know what I mean? And you used to play like tea cups. And if you're, a, I don't know, guys do that as well. I'm sure boys do that, okay? 
and you put all your little teacups around, you put all your dollies and little cats and dogs, whatever you got, and you played, you know, that's your inner child. That inner child needs to be looked after. That inner child needs to be taken care of, okay? And that is you knowing exactly how you're going to be doing that. Aligning with this energy, you're moving into a life here where you are absolutely happy. King of Cups, where you're King of Swords energy, and there is you moving forward now, very excited, very motivated into a new life for yourself. I feel like this changes absolutely everything. You're so happy, look, happiness, coming up with the King of Cups there. You're so motivated, you're so excited as you move forward into like this new change that's coming in. Beautiful energy. I feel like it's a big plot twist for you. I feel like this changes your life like that. Because something has been so stuck here and for a very, very long time. Very long time. Something maybe you feel as if it will never be unstuck. You thought this will be my life forever. Oh, it changes. Randomly, out of the blue. It changes, oh, your reading. Out of the blue, things change so unbelievably fast. We sometimes don't believe it can happen, but if you keep the faith, you keep your goals, you keep your dreams, you know what you want in your life and you don't give up on it. Keep holding what you want here in your heart, okay? Hold it here, Libra. Make sure that you hold this in your heart. Make sure that you, you keep on saying to yourself, you know what? And remember, Libra, my brain's only functioning now. You're literally in your reading. Duh. You know what I mean? I get so caught up in what I'm doing in the reading. I even forget the zodiac sign that I'm on. But Libra, you're here in your reading. You are here in your reading. And the happiness comes in here. You are manifesting with the magician. You are manifesting a happiness with the magician. Where you are literally manifesting the happy life that you've always always wanted you are manifesting you get your power you have your understanding whatever this event that is that take place there's a big shift in your life complete 360 degrees here with a justice card that's a complete change you're moving into your happiness you know you know that you're creating this and you are moving towards your ten of cups whatever that happiness is to you the Five of Pentacles shows up in the reverse position. Long-term financial stability that was not in the right way for you. Remember, the Queen of Pentacles is what's blocked. You do not have to worry any longer about not having enough. You don't have to worry in reverse position any longer about not being able to pay the bills, about the stability that you so want not being in your life. It is there. Okay, your clarifiers. Unbelievable what you're reading. Oh man, you guys, your reading is so beautiful, Libra. My heart, my soul. Your clarifier with your, your magician is your Eight of Pentacles. You are working so hard on building an absolute new reality for yourself. You, it's a beautiful reading. You are working so hard. Eight of Pentacles, putting in the effort, working on something, and this is what's inspiring you so much to keep going. There could be a complete change in your life in some kind of way here. It causes your Ten of Cups to come in because you've got the King of Cups aligning with it one more time. You know what you want, Libra. You know exactly what this is. You know, Libra, what I'm holding here, what this means to you. You got it. Once, twice, okay? You know you're moving towards this at this moment. You're like, I know I'm, I know I'm, I'm moving towards my Ten of Cups and I'm going to be happy there. And in this moment, you're creating it. You're building it. You're working on it. Yeah, you receive. There you are in that reality. Long journey you've been on, but you're going to get there. And Spirit Guide is reassuring you here. You, you're so close to this, okay? Because you've got your Five of Pentacles with your Six of Swords in the reverse position, showing up as this energy of what you feared, what was blocked. Spirit Guide is moving you so quickly away from what this is. Energies are moving you and guiding you. It is unknown to you still at this moment, but it is going to come in 
and it's going to be a big shift for you that just moves you into like this other way of being so for you okay for yourself whatever this is when this moment of clarity shows up for you in your life step into what this is because things are about to change for you when the sword gets given to you do not be afraid do not be afraid step into what this is it takes you to somewhere i think that you even will be surprised how amazing it will be there we go thank you so much libra for being here i hope this one helps you i hope it guides you i hope it gives you all the answers that you need right now and i'll see you guys in your next reading bye